Okay, so just to reiterate, I'll show you that chorus again. Starts on a D. Okay, so and then from there we'll go to a G, actually not a D. Okay, so I'll just kind of play it with the click track. saw the transition from the verse into the chorus and then back out into the main riff um, which will have a solo over it after the first chorus and then back into a second verse with the same transition <laughs> okay so another verse and then we'll go into another chorus same thing and out of that chorus comes another quick guitar solo. And then from that guitar solo, we go into another chorus into the outro. And I'll show you that transition, OK? to a G chord. And here's where the piano comes in and the guitar mimics it. So we'll clean up the sound a little bit. So let's break this down. Um, so basically, this is the lead into the outro and outro solo. So um, it follows the piano pretty much straight if you listen to the track. So let me show you what I'm doing there. On your D string, you're playing the fifth fret. On your G string, you're playing the fourth fret and on your B string you're playing the third fret and then you're adding your pinky there on the D string sorry on your G string and hitting your B string right after it so you're hammering on to the fifth fret of the G with your pinky This chord now. So what you're doing is you're switching, you're putting your middle finger on the B string, fourth fret, first finger on the third fret of G. Now you're moving that chord up a whole step. So and then back to the same chord only. Now what you're doing there is you're grabbing the D string from the 3rd fret and sliding up to the 5th fret. So you're playing the same original chord, only you're adding the 3rd fret on your E string. So you're going to bar your 3rd fret of your B and E. 
Again, repeat. Same thing. Here's where it changes. Okay, so let me show you what that changes. So what you're doing now is you're borrowing the third fret on your D and G. Okay. And now you're going. So it's always the same kind of. Uh, chord here which is an F now at this point so you're playing third fret on D second fret on uh, G and first fret on B and you're incorporating your pinky once again on the fifth fret of your G string or sorry third fret of your G string so hammer on pull off into a G chord and then you hit a 5th fret harmonic on your G. And if you have a whammy bar, you can use that at this point, but I don't, so what I'm going to do is just basically kind of bend the neck. Just show you that one more time. Okay, so 